Salad S&P here. Um, we're going to go over a couple of our drive-by-wire adapter options. Um, we have a Mark 1, a Mark 2, and a Mark 3 version. Um, these basically bolt into your um, chassis and allow you to bolt a Mark 4 drive-by-wire pedal um, into your car without, without any cutting or modification. Um, we'll start with the Mark 1. Um, it's a real simple pedal. It's drilled for both um, drilled for both styles of Mark IV pedals that you'll find. Um, it uh, bolts through with a uh, onto the tab on the floor of the Mark I where the original pivot was. We'll show you uh, how to install that here in just a minute. Okay guys, there used to be a throttle pedal right here. This is in your Mark I. Um, this is the hole that we are going to use to mount our bracket to. Um, this is a uh, AC car. It also has the defrost or the foot heat on it. So this usually gets in your way just a little bit by from not uh, allowing the the pedal to slide all the way over, and it'll crowd your brake pedal a little bit. Um, I generally recommend trimming this. You can remove it altogether, but that's not necessary. Um, I usually trim it right through here, and I'll show you where we're going to trim that here in just a minute. Um, first, we're going to hang this bracket so that you can see it and we can make a little mark. You can cut it afterwards if you want or beforehand or or however you feel like working on it. But um, generally, I, uh, I just make my mark and I cut it in place because uh, it's just a little bit of plastic. Well, as you can see, this arm here on the pedal is um, is hitting this and we're not we're awfully close to our our brake pedal as it is so we'd really like to get that that about one inch of movement back if we can so I just hold this up and make sure I'm aligned with my bottom one for for height reference and then I'm going to make sure that I've got just a little bit of extra room and just basically trim this out and if you happen to find one of the early Mark IV drive-by-wire pedals, they are actually straight. And um, you can fit them without modification, but they're not real easy to find. Okay, so we're going to cut this out. The only thing to note is just obviously make sure you don't hit your heater hoses. Um, that will cause you a problem later. But um, you can cut this out with a little whiz wheel, or I've got a little handheld hacksaw here. Uh, it works pretty good. Um, but it's just plastic. I mean, even... Even some like uh, tin shears would, would cut it no problem as long as you can get your hands up in there. About to finish this cut up and there you have it. This is about all you're taking out. It's not a whole lot. But it should give you some more room to mount that pedal. And now we're all tucked in. We got a nice distance away from our brake pedal so we'll bolt this in and we'll be done we got our bolt in everything's torqued down our pedal alignment looks pretty good we're out of the way of our heater box we got a little extra room and we plugged our connector in we are ready to wrap this dash up and almost ready for a test fire <laughs> 